Dr. Sarah, for those of us with weight loss goals, what is the best way to get all this protein that social media is telling us that we need with also reducing our calories? Yeah. So first of all, social media is probably telling you that you need more protein than you actually need. So the one gram of protein per pound body weight recommendation that's all over social media is actually too high for most people. Um, it's in the range if you are an athlete, if you are a big person who just needs a lot more energy, but you don't want your protein to exceed 35% of your calories. So if that one gram of protein per pound body weight, especially combined with an energy deficit, if that means your protein uh, calories are more than 35% of your total calories, it's too high. Rain it in. Uh, where the science really is is somewhere between a half and like three quarters of a gram of protein per pound of body weight. Uh, that's that's where like most of the science is, is at uh, for, again, most of us. So first of all, let's make sure our protein goals are uh, science-based uh, and, and in the range. And if you're not sure, registered dietitian, a licensed nutritionist, you can ask your doctor. There are uh, professionals and I would recommend a professional who knows your specific situation rather than a stranger on the internet for determining your macronutrients for sure. Uh, so once we've established that, um, so leaner protein foods will just have more protein per serving, uh, without being really like densely caloric. So like, yes, you can get your protein from nuts and seeds, right? They have like 20 grams of protein per hundred grams of, of nuts as a, you know, that's as a general rule, a hundred grams of nuts is like 900 calories, right? So like nuts and seeds, definitely health promoting food, definitely actually some interesting research showing that uh, nuts in moderation can actually um, improve uh, uh, weight goals rather than the other way around. So like, I'm not saying nuts and seeds are bad. I'm just saying that like, they're not a protein food uh, in this context. So leaner sources of protein, um, actually all of our densest sources of protein are all fish, uh, especially white fish, but there's some fattier fish that still hit the like top 25 list of highest protein per serving foods and highest protein per calorie foods. Um, but things like halibut, tilapia, hake, cod, uh, mahi, mahi, shrimp, um, squid, octopus, um, those are all like super, super protein dense. They've got some good healthy omega-3s. So associated with reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and neurodegenerative disease like Alzheimer's. So awesome protein sources. And then plant proteins are very filling because they tend to have a lot of fiber as well. So you're getting a lot of protein from legumes like lentils, chickpeas, you know, black beans, kidney beans, edamame. Um, so those are foods that have not too dissimilar protein uh, densities, um, not too dissimilar. You're kind of getting like a different thing that it's packaged with. So not too dissimilar, um, uh, like, yeah, like overall nutrient densities, um, but you're getting more fiber with those foods and fiber is very filling. So the, the ways to kind of hit your like satiating filling foods is your protein foods plus your fiber foods. And then making sure ideally this would mostly be whole foods. So you're getting the full package of vitamins and, and minerals and other essential nutrients in those packages. Uh, so legumes is another great way to get your protein up. I love legume-based pasta, so lentil pasta, chickpea pasta, uh, soybean pasta, because they have so much protein and fiber, but still like hit that like carbohydrate button uh, in my brain. So that is a uh, high, high, recommendation. Um, and then if you're really struggling to get enough protein, you know, that's where, uh, protein powders in a smoothie or collagen peptides in your coffee in the morning, or, um, you could do something like a clear whey protein, which has more like a juice like experience. Yeah. Even though it's whey protein powder, um, that's where protein bars can help like pump things up uh, a little bit more and feel like sometimes just like an easier, more convenient package. Um, but your most protein dense foods are going to be your fish, your poultry and, and your legumes. Um, and so, uh, that is, that is, that is, that those are your best tools. Um, and that's like a extra little tip here. So much easier to hit protein goals. If you eat three meals a day, yeah, it's really hard with two meals a day. So hard. Like if I aim for hundred grams of protein per day, 
I can't do that in two meals, 50 grams each. That's too much. I can't do it. I can't do it. I need my three meals per day to hit my protein goals. So also, uh, every time you eat, make sure there's some protein and get those three squares. That's a, that's another great strategy.